All right, getting ready to do uh, scenery on this end of the layout. Picked up a sheet of uh, Woodland Scenics grass mat. This is good for uh, covering a large area at one time. Put a little bit of uh, double sticky tape. Slide this on, line up our edges, and then where I put my double stick, we can go ahead and place it. Now we'll get into the uh, next step. Okay, after you get your double stick down, I'll use it for uh, temporary because I'll uh, glue this down. But feel along the top of the sheet and you can feel your uh, rails underneath. Take your hobby knife and just run along the side of the rail and carefully trim out your uh, excess. Just follow along with your finger, just keep your fingers back. We'll go ahead and cut this out. Now I'll expose your rail. A little bit wide here, but you can do your ballast, fill in these little spots here. But just uh, continue down, follow along your rails, and expose your track. Okay, I've got this one section cut out. What I'll do now is, uh, since the double sticky is a temporary, I'll take some uh, construction adhesive or contact cement, put a little bit on her spatula, and then we'll uh, go along the edges a little bit of contact cement in here, spread it down real good. The double sticky is a good temporary way to hold this down. The double stick allows you to uh, reposition if you need to. And just uh, go along and glue it in. All right, got all my grass mat glued down rails cut out and exposed. Went ahead and did a little ballast around this area. People don't like this stuff because it's kind of plain but gives you a good base. Right here I already put on a little bit of uh, scenery material to touch it up. So compare that to just the plain material. Doesn't take a whole lot to uh, bring it up a little bit and I'll save you on uh, your scenery materials.